Hi guys, welcome to the video sharing the URL. In this particular section, we are going to understand what is actually meant by URL sharing or sharing the URL concept is all about. And also, I give you a gist about history object which is natively available in almost all modern browsers. And also, we'll talk about how one could able to maintain states inside the history. And also, I want to like talk about uh, routers from the open source world which are actually depending upon this history objects to work so let's get started so what is url sharing that's a very simple question to begin with so single page application has a concept called url sharing for example when you are in page like flipkart and you are visiting a product a nike shoe and you could just copy that url and just share it to your friend right since it's a single page application architecture when your friend opens up that particular url he or she opens the same state of the url in the browser right so this is what in simple terms is called url sharing and that's specific to single page application architecture okay so yeah as we just said based on the url we show dynamic content obviously not all urls are correct we'll talk about how to handle error urls a little bit later in this uh, volume so the next question is where do we actually store those states so the answer to that question is we no need to actually worry about that uh, there is a native object in almost all modern browsers called history okay so history is part of a window object and it's actually native javascript object which handles the state management between the urls in the sense it has almost all capabilities to answer almost all the developers question in regards to the history navigation okay and it used to handle the you know you are in the browser as we just now discussed and we can get any details about the url of the current page from the history okay so history object also uh, you know exposes a few event listeners which the developers could uh, attach to and uh, when users you know play back or next button on the browser we could actually listen to those events we will, we will talk about those things in the, the next chapter okay and importantly it also contains all the navigation history for a given session or a given tab right so when you are in chrome and let's say you're going to flipkart and you're in flipkart.com and you go to a product and then you know go to the main page again then all the navigation that you do within flipkart is actually contained in the history object which means the state management of url we as developers don't need to worry but it's already available in the history object itself 